Hi, it's Dr. A. Um, I had a couple of good questions about uh, people on uh, ketogenic or low carb diets and why sometimes they're asked to take uh, carnitine, which is uh, an amino like acid supplement. And uh, so I thought I just thought I'd answer that. The basis for the use of carnitine in a usually a supplement form is to uh, help someone who's on a low carb, especially a keto diet, have the fatty acids that get to their cells. And obviously there's gonna be more fatty acids available and less carbohydrates. So when it gets to the cell, if you have carbohydrates, they're the first kind of choice to go in and uh, to the mitochondria and create energy. But if you're shifting towards more fatty acid energy metabolism, there's a different process for getting fatty acids into the mitochondria and burning them for energy. The process is a, a three-step process that requires carnitine as a uh, transport cofactor. So carnitine is normally found in the diet. You can look up online the you know, dietary sources of carnitine. It was first isolated in meat, uh, hence the name carne, carnitine. And uh, it's, it's in other foods as well. Again, you can look that up. But a lot of times what happens is when people have been used to being on a, a, a more uh, standard diet with a lot of carbohydrate available, their body isn't used to metabolizing fats for energy quite like this. And so what happens is when you do the shift over, you can actually use up a lot of your carnitine. Now you don't become truly deficient normally, uh, but it can be uh, a problem and the symptoms people usually get are fatigue oriented because they're having trouble shunting those fatty acids into the mitochondria for energy and they don't have as many sugars as they used to. So often people will be told to take carnitine or acetyl L-carnitine as supplements. Now again none of the things I talk about are medical advice if you're going to think of this or do it work with your healthcare provider. Uh, don't take advice from YouTube for your health care. This is just information. But the purpose is, as opposed to carbohydrate, which gets into the mitochondria fairly simply, remember fatty acids are real long and they have to be uh, transported. There's not a natural gradient for them to go into the mitochondria. So what happens is there is a uh, shuttle opening on the outside and on the inside there's two membranes on the mitochondria and so on the outside there's uh, this transport uh, called CPT1 carnitine palmetto transferase 1 and then in the middle there's CAT which is carnitine acyl transferase and then on the inside there's CPT2 that, that shoves the fat in. Well the operator of the movement through there and into the mitochondria is a attachment of carnitine to your fatty acid. So if you start to run low on carnitine, again, you're not going to get terribly deficient usually, but you run low, the transport of the fats in slows down and you can become quite fatigued. You can have pain, flu-like symptoms, other things. So usually practitioners, that would be the first thing that they try if you switch to say keto or very low carb and uh, you're having fatigue or other types of symptoms would be to put you on a, a form of carnitine. Again, it's usually either L-carnitine or acetyl L-carnitine that are available in supplement forms. There are uh, some uh, semi-drug versions of carnitine, but those are usually used in hospitals and with uh, particular uh, genetic disorders. So that's a little bit different. But that's why carnitine is so important. And if you really want to look at it, the other uh, factor, which is a factor as uh, all fat movement, is vitamin B5, panathenic acid. So panathenic acid is involved at the step before the fat gets to CPT1. Uh, and panathenic acid is another one. Sometimes they will give you a bit extra if you're uh, in keto or, uh, or a very low carb diet. Well. That's the answer to the question about uh, low carb and keto and why carnitine is sometimes used to help with fatigue, et cetera. Basically, it is the shuttle molecule that helps to get the fats in so that they can be uh, metabolized and give you energy. As always, if you like this, like, share, subscribe, notifications, all of those things, and I will see you all back here sometime soon.